Hey guys, welcome back again to Hackies on YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about privilege escalation. So I'll be explaining you about privilege escalation and its types and uh, each and every part in detail. So watch the video till the end without skipping. And uh, after the explanation, I'll be showing you some examples for this privilege escalation. So don't miss that too. Okay, come, let's jump into the video. Okay, privilege escalation. First, let me clarify you the term about privilege. What is privilege means? Uh, privilege means uh, permission. It's all about uh, a permission that a user has on a system or a web app. Okay, so that's called privilege. Once uh, he or she escalates that privilege and breaking the rules and uh, taking more advantage over the system or uh, web app, then it's called as privilege escalation. Privilege escalation is of two types. One is horizontal privilege escalation and another one is vertical privilege escalation. These are all the these are all the two types of privilege escalation. So let me uh, convey uh, convey to you with an example so that you can easily understand. OK, assume that uh, a system has three users. One is root user. Another one is user one and another one is uh, user two. Let, let's name, name them as uh, user one as Jack and user two as Steve. OK, so now there are three users, root user, Jack and Steve. OK, Jack and Steve has same privilege and uh, root user. Normally, we know that uh, they have high privileges on a system. They can do anything. But uh, Jack and Steve has same privilege that they can't uh, do some, some activities on a, on, on a system. OK, particular system. So now let's uh, move to the horizontal privilege escalation. So first, uh, this is the first type of uh, privilege escalation here. Once the user one uh, able to access the another user's data is called as horizontal privilege escalation. So now Jack, ha Jack and Steve has same permission. So Jack uses some tricks or uh, any ways to pollute uh, the system and uh, once he uh, gain or uh, gain privilege of the second user then it is called as horizontal privilege escalation so once jack is able to uh, access steve's uh, steve's files or um, data or he can able to modify steve's data then it is called as horizontal privilege escalation uh, so next one is uh, vertical privilege escalation this is uh, totally opposite to that so in the previous one that is in a horizontal privilege escalation uh, both uh, it, it's between both the users only between the users okay so once a user one uh, able to access the another user's data or may, uh, can able to change another user's data then it is called as horizontal privilege escalation and vertical privilege escalation is um, once a user is able to access a high privileged users data that is root users data or uh, any high privileged users data then it is called as vertical privilege escalation okay so here in this case steve is able to access roots data then it is called as privilege escalation he might uh, use any ways to abuse uh, he, he might uh, use any ways to uh, become a root user whether it may be a kernel exploit or any service like a service uh, local privilege escalation exploit that might be a services running with pseudo uh, pseudo um, pseudo permission so he can able to abuse that and uh, he can become a root user so that's that's called a vertical privilege escalation once a user uh, is able to gain a high privileged users uh, data uh, i mean access then it is called as vertical privilege escalation so let me show you an example so that you can even even uh, the, you can understand it even more better okay so come let's uh, jump into the example session okay here i'm having a linux system so it is a it is purposely made uh, vulnerable i think uh, this uh, particular system name is uh, lin security i've got it from the internet uh, I'll give I'll drop the link and link of this box uh, in the description box so that you can also practice this same thing. OK, so let me open it, uh, open my terminal so that I can SSH over that system. It will be more comfortable for me. SSH before that I have to find the IP address so scan hyphen L operation not permitted because I'm OK, fine. So that's the IP address is uh, seven. Let me clear it off. SSH 
username is bob and uh, password is secret okay enter secret okay fine so i have logged into the system now i'm a user i'm a i'm a, I'm a user named as bob so first let me show you an example for uh, vertical privilege escalation so now i'm a, i'm a normal user in this system so now what i'm going to do is uh, just uh, going to do vertical privilege escalation and to uh, i'm going to gain um, root privilege okay for that uh, just uh, I, i'm going to see the list what bob is allowed to do on this system what are the services are allowed for bob to run as sudo sudo okay so these are all the services that bob can uh, access okay so he can run these services as um, with the sudo permissions so what i'm going to do is just going to uh, you can use a, a, any of this service to uh, i mean to gain the root access you can first let me show you with bash you can see uh who am i just uh here you can see that here, here i'm i've used a sudo bash because uh bash is allowed for uh, the user bob so i have used a sudo to become a root user so now let me exit and sudo l so now uh, i'll show you an, another example for vertical privilege escalation with vi okay so vi vi would so sudo space vi here uh, just uh, type uh, press escape key mm, colon exclamatory sh hit enter so now who am i you can see uh, I have become root user by abusing VI. Okay, so recently there is a I have I have done a box re related to this uh, uh, the same method. Okay, so uh, you can practice. Uh, everyone knows that hack the box and uh, one one up I think. So recently I have done a HTB box uh, with this same method. So same method works here also. So most of the times, uh, some sometimes uh, the system admin might. Uh, misconfigured things so that will lead uh, lead to lead the user to become a root uh, in a system okay so that there is a high chance of that um, such things uh, can create more problem so let it be uh, as a penetration tester uh, you have to look into all the ways right so this is a one of the way to become uh, one of the uh, common ways to become user so i'm just uh, explaining you for this for example okay so that's why i am stopping with this and uh, if you uh, in in more in our future videos we'll be discussing more about um, this privilege escalation topics uh, i'll i'll come up with uh, more videos and more ways to um, for this privilege escalation okay so now let me exit enter escape q a exclamatory clear it off now what i'm going to do is uh, just pwd okay so now let me see the cap slash etc slash password here these are all the users uh, uh, available in the system okay so from root to uh, susan so peter susan so now i'm i'm a, i'm normal user uh, called as uh, bob so now what i'm going to do is uh, just going to do a horizontal privilege escalation now i'm going to change myself uh, to peter okay so peter is one of the user in the system i'm having access to bash so sudo access hyphen u peter username u means uh, username so sudo space hyphen u username peter bash you can see who am i i'm peter yes i'm peter so now i've done um, a, a horizontal privilege escalation so now i can access uh, all the files of peter so i i have a I have all the access to change, make any changes on this um, particular account. Okay, so I can do anything. 
so this is the best example for uh, horizontal privilege escalation mostly uh, will be doing vertical privilege escalation when it comes to a system or a network because uh, we don't uh, there is nothing uh, in in change in moving from another user to another uh, to i mean to another user there is no, nothing in it so mostly will be as a penetration tester we will be trying to um, go for a vertical privilege escalation because we are we, we will be uh, will be liking to get more privilege right so that's why we are will be looking for more privilege accounts uh, so mostly we'll be doing vertical privilege or uh, privilege escalation on when it comes to system but uh, when it comes to a web app uh, that ma when it comes to a web app we will be doing uh, mostly will be doing uh, horizontal privilege escalation we'll be using session uh, session token to move from one uh, one user to another user so like the, uh, there are lots of ways available so that will be discussed uh, in another part so i have to code uh, i can't show you on a live i mean live website so i have to separately make uh, arrangement for that we'll post uh, videos regarding to that also hope you have uh, enjoyed this video if you have any doubts personally you can let me know uh, i've uh, given all the social network links in the description box